Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to review for you and show you the photographic and fine art inkjet papers by Photospeed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video. If you print photos or art on an inkjet printer, then you should really check out these photo papers. Photospeed is a British company located in the UK who make a huge variety of photographic and fine art papers for inkjet printing. Besides the great quality, the range covers a huge variety of paper textures, colors, and different kind of purposes. So it might be worth switching to if you're looking for an upgrade or you just want to try something new. So as I said, Photospeed offers a lot of different paper types and they were kind enough to send me a very generous um, bundle of samples to try and show you. Now, I'm not a professional photographer, but I do take a lot of photos and I do print quite a lot. So instead of going into intricate detail about every single photo paper in this bundle, which would make this video a very long video, I'm going to try to familiarize you with the range, show you the available options, show you some test prints, talk about the service and share with you my first impressions of these fantastic papers. Just a small disclaimer here, this is not a sponsored post. Uh, I did receive these papers for free, but you will hear nothing but my honest opinion in this review. Before I start showing you the paper types, let me just say a few important things about the company that you might find very useful before even considering uh, buying any of these papers. First of all, since they have a huge range of photo papers, it would be a very expensive game to buy a pack of each of them, test them and trial them. But thankfully they have sample packs which you can order for yourself and try out many of their papers. You will find four A4 sample packs and those are the ones that I have here. One is going to be for the photographic papers. The second one is going to be for the fine art glossy papers. The third one includes the fine art matte smooth papers papers and the final one includes the fine art matte textured papers. Now these samples are priced at around 10-15 pounds and you get a bundle of different photo papers in it and for most of them you get three sheets for each paper type apart from the photographic one which is two sheets for each paper type. Apart from the A4 sample packs they also have an A3 sample pack which is a bit more expensive 40 pounds with slightly less paper options and they also have a panoramic which is again 40 40 pounds and has slightly less variety in the paper finishes. So if you need to try just a few papers, make sure to get one of these sample packs. It's a great value and you can try them out before you commit to a bigger pack. The second thing I want to talk about is ICC profiles. It doesn't matter how great your printer is, how great your artwork is or how um, high quality papers you use if you don't have a good color management or color workflow. Photospeed offers free custom profiling for every single photo paper type that they supply. So if um, you buy any of these papers, you can print out a test sheet according to their instructions on your printer, send it back, and they're going to create a print profile for you that is going to give you the best print results that you can get with these papers. You can also use this service for different brands or paper types that they don't supply, but in that case, there is a charge of 20 pounds for the first sheet. But if you have multiple sheets, it's 10 pounds for each subsequent sheet. The profiling is a must if you want to make the most of these papers and it also is a big time saver because if you don't get the colors that you want on the first trial, you might end up tweaking and adjusting colors and saturation levels for hours and hours wasting lots of ink and paper. Instead, you can just print out one sheet, send it in to Photospeed and they're gonna get you that result uh, without wasting any ink or paper. Now, having said that, Photospeed offers ready-made ICC profiles on their website and these are for the most common Epson and Canon printers. And these are very useful if you own one of those printers or for example, if you order one of these test bundles, of course, you're not going to print out each sheet, send it back for profiling just for the sake of trialing or sampling these papers. My Canon printer was listed on the on the printer list on their website, so I could use the generic profiles to sample these papers. The third thing I wanted to mention about the papers in general is the available formats. Sometimes you find a paper that you really love, but it doesn't come in the format you need. For example, there's an amazing A4 paper, but you need to print A3 prints and so on. So these papers come in a huge range 
of formats from very small cards to standard A4, A3 sizes all the way up to rolls. So you've got the following um, sizes which are available for most of the papers, not all of them. You've got A4, A3, A3+, A2, 17 inch roll, 24 inch roll, 36 inch roll, 44 inch roll, a panoramic and 5x5 five five A6 and A5 photo cards. So these are the available sizes that you can choose from. Now that I've talked about these general um, information bits, let's get into the photo samples. I'm going to do the bundles one by one. The first one is more affordable, more generic, is the photographic paper bundle. This bundle contains all the standard photo papers which are not fine art. They are slightly lighter and thinner than the fine art papers but not too much, they still have a decent thickness. You'll find the following papers in this bundle. There's a PF Luster 275 GSM, PF Gloss 270 GSM, Photo Smooth Pearl 290 GSM, Metallic Gloss 275 GSM, Metallic Luster 275 GSM, Matte Ultra 240 GSM, Matte Proofing 170 GSM and Matte Duo 240 GSM. So let's have a look at these papers. Apart from the metallic papers, these are all very versatile and fabulous papers. The metallic looks really great too, but I think it's more of a, a niche paper. You wouldn't be able to use it to everyday projects. It needs to be applied or used with a specific purpose, something that requires a metallic print. The PF Luster and Photo Smooth Pearl look very similar, but uh, while the Smooth Pearl has a warmish tone, the PF Luster is brilliant white. So the main difference is between the color base. The PF Gloss has the same sheen as the PF Luster, but obviously it doesn't have the pearly texture. It's completely smooth. And the three matte papers are identical uh, texture and color wise. The main difference is in the thickness. The matte ultra is the standard matte photo paper. The matte proofing is slightly thinner, 170 GSM. You can use this for proofing as the name says, or for any project that doesn't require very thick papers or if you want to put it in a book or somewhere where you need thinner papers. The matte duo is the same as the matte ultra but it's double-sided so it's perfect for photo books or any kind of project where you would need to do double-sided printing. My absolute favorite in this bundle is the PF Luster. It has a modest amount of sheen great color reproduction and a very nice uh, dynamic range. The shadows have lots of detail. The matte ultra is just as detailed as the PF Luster, but somehow it printed a little bit warmer than the PF Luster. So if you're looking for that brilliant white look, the PF Luster is your best choice. The matte ultra, I'm sure you can tweak the settings or get a different profile, but with the generic profile, it looked a little bit warmer despite uh, the paper being just as white. And as you can see from my test prints here, uh, I chose the same um, kind of uh, graphics for all of these prints because they have a bundle of images uh, where you can see different things like skin tones, shadows, detail, uh, nature, and also text uh, and crispness. Let's move on to bundle number two. There's quite a lot to cover. So the second bundle is the Fine Art Inkjet Papers and this is the glossy version. So if you want that thick um, fine art paper but you want a gloss finish, you should choose from this bundle. This is a slightly more modest bundle. It only has three paper types in it, which is the Platinum Barita 300 GSM, the Platinum Gloss Fine Art 300 GSM, and the Legacy Gloss 325 GSM. So as you can see, all of the fine art papers are around 300 GSM, but some of them are going to be more rigid than others and this might be an issue when you don't have a pro printer. Some of the printers might struggle to feed the more rigid 300 GSM papers. The Barita is smooth with a subtle gloss finish. The Platinum Gloss and Legacy Gloss have a surface that resembles uncoated papers to me. Obviously it's not uncoated but it, it kind of looks like an uncoated paper from the texture and they still have a tiny bit of a sheen. The two papers are almost completely identical but the Platinum Gloss is brilliant white and the Legacy has a warmer creamish kind of tone. The Barita is the glossiest and is kind of in between the Legacy and the Platinum in base color, so not quite as brilliant white, but not as warm as the Legacy one. These are all nice and sturdy photo papers with a nice subtle sheen, but 
if I had to choose between these and the PF Luster, I think I would go for the PF Luster. It's just my honest personal opinion. There's nothing wrong with these papers, but to me, the colors seemed the nicest on the PF Luster paper. It's a tiny bit thinner than these ones, but the difference is minuscule. Um, and if I do want to go for the fine art paper, I think I would prefer something more matte. Let's move on to the third bundle, which is the Fine Art Matte Smooth Papers. So these are all Fine Art Papers again, quite thick, but they have a smooth surface. At least they're all supposed to have one. We'll see that later. In this bundle, you're going to get Signature Smooth Cotton 300 GSM, High White Smooth 315 GSM, Platinum Cotton 305 GSM, Platinum Matte 280 GSM, Signature Natural Soft Textured Bright White, 315 GSM and natural soft textured 315 GSM. This category has a bundle of premium gorgeous matte papers. They are all around 300 GSM as I said, but the signature smooth cotton just didn't feed into my printer, despite the fact that it's actually less heavy than some of the other papers which did feed into the printer. So my printer is not the most professional one, but it's still a good photo printer. So every paper in this bundle has a different base color, but the platinum matte and the signature natural soft are brilliant white. The smooth cotton and high white smooth are less bright, and the platinum cotton and natural soft textured are warm, creamy toned. The smooth cotton and platinum matte are smooth. The platinum cotton and high white have a very subtle texture, while the soft textured papers are not smooth at all. I'm not entirely sure why they're included in the matte smooth bundle because even their name says that they are textured and they do have quite a strong texture so they might be better fitted for the textured fine art bundle but anyway um, it was in this bundle so I just wanted to mention that those two papers are not smooth. The platinum matte unfortunately was disappointing it had roller lines on it I don't know how to describe it it's like fine lines which you see sometimes when a printer roller goes on too strong um, it was on the on all the three sheets before I put them through the printer and I wasn't sure if they would show when I print on them, but they did show. So it could be an issue with all the platinum matte papers, but I think it probably just my bundle that was uh, faulty. I didn't raise this as an issue because it's just a sample pack, but if it does happen in your sample, then contact the company. My favorite in this bundle is the High Wide. All of these papers are nice, don't get me wrong, but I was most impressed by the detail and color reproduction on the High Wide. The warmish papers can distort the color quite a bit, so they're more suitable for artwork that can benefit from the warmish tone. The platinum matte would look great too, if it didn't have the roller mark. So that one is brilliant white as well. It had the same great colors as the high white, but unfortunately uh, I had the marks on it. And now let's move to the final bundle, which is the fine art matte textured papers. Now in this bundle, you're going to get signature platinum etching 285 GSM, signature cotton etching 305 GSM, natural textured 315 GSM and natural textured bright white 315 GSM. This bundle contains true art papers and by that I mean that they do look very artistic and these papers are all very highly textured and add a lot of depth and dimension to your print. Now not all prints are going to benefit from this strong texture but if you print anything that has materials, architecture, textures or nature photography, I think it would look really great on it. Obviously you can print portraits or anything you want on it, but uh, it just depends what kind of effect are you looking for. The cotton etching and bright white papers are brilliant white, while the other two are on the warmer end. The natural textured papers have a larger pattern, while the signature papers texture is a lot more subtle. So if you're looking for texture but not something so in your face, then the signature papers are going to be your choice. But if, if you want that very strong texture, then the natural uh, textured papers would be much better choice for that kind of a project. The colors on the platinum etching got completely distorted. I don't know what happened here. I used the correct profile from the website, but this is how it came out. I'm sure it could be fixed with uh, custom profiling and that's why I'm stressing that custom profiling is a must when you use any of these papers. But since this is just a sampling, I didn't want to go back and forth with uh, custom profiling for all of these 30 odd um, 
number of paper types. So apart from that, the texture is very nice, but the colors um, didn't print quite as imagined. My personal favorite here is the platinum etching. It has the nicest, most intricate texture, and it's also a nice bright white, so the colors are going to look nice and balanced on it. Right, uh, I managed to get through all the paper types. As I said, it would be impossible to go into a lot of detail with each of these papers because there are so many types and this video would go on for hours and hours. But hopefully this introduction is going to give you an idea about the plethora of um, choice that uh, Photospeed offers. And these papers are not just nice, they're also very good quality and they are a suitable switch from any of the other brands that we are used to. If you want to see more close-up pictures of the textures of the paper, you can go onto the Photospeed website or you can go onto my blog where I have uh, a written version of this review uh, with more photos. Some of these things are not very easy to um, show in front of a camera. Regarding the prices, they're very competitively priced. Go onto the website to check the price for each individual paper because the pricing depends obviously on how many you get and what format you get them in. So I think it would be pointless to list the prices of all of these papers because it really depends on the quantity and the format. If you have any questions about these papers, leave them in the comments. I try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching and as always, subscribe for more.